Your grace. Grandfather? Um, what's the line? The king shits and the hand wipes. You wanted to speak to me? Yes. I'd like a report on the meetings of my small council. You're welcome to attend the meetings of your small council, Your Grace. Any or all of them. I've been very busy. Many important matters require King's attention. Of course. You've been holding the council meetings in the Tower of the Hand, instead of the small council chamber. I have, yes. May I ask why? Well, the Tower of the Hand is where I work. To walk from there to here would take time. Time I could otherwise spend productively. So if I wanted to attend a council meeting, I would now have to climb all the stairs in the Tower of the Hand? We could arrange to have you carried. Tell me about the Targaryen girl in the East. The whore is pregnant. You're speaking of murdering a child. I warned you this would happen back in the North. I warned you, but you didn't care to hear. Well, hear it now. I want them dead. Mother and child, both. And that fool Viserys as well. Is that plain enough for you? I want them both dead. And her dragons. Where did you hear about this? Is it true? Apparently so. Don't you think we ought to do something about it? When I was handed the king under your father's predecessor, the skulls of all the Targaryen dragons were kept in this room. And the skull of the last of them was right here. It was the size of an apple. And the biggest? was the size of a carriage. Yes, and the creature to whom it belonged died 300 years ago. Curiosities on the far side of the world are no threat to us. But how do we know these dragons are just curiosities and not the beasts that brought the whole world to heel? Because we have been told as much by the many experts who serve the realm by counseling the king on matters about which he knows nothing. But I haven't been counseled. You are being counseled at this very moment. You'll dishonor yourself forever if you do this. Honor? I've got seven kingdoms to rule. One king, seven kingdoms. Do you think honor keeps them in line? Do you think it's honor that's keeping the peace? It's fear, fear and blood. Then we're no better than the Mad King. Careful, Ned, careful now. You want to assassinate a girl because the spider had a rumor. No rumor, my lord, the princess is with child. Based on whose information? Sir Jorah Mormont. He is serving as advisor to the Targaryens. Mormont, you bring us the whispers of a traitor half a world away and call it fine. If my brother was given an army of Dothraki, could you conquer the Seven Kingdoms? The Dothraki have never crossed the narrow sea. They fear any water their horses can't drink. But if they did? King Robert is fool enough to meet them in open battle. But the men advising him are different. And you know these men? I fought beside them once. Long ago. Now Ned Stark wants my head. He drove me from my land. You sold slaves. Aye. Why? I'd no money and an expensive wife. And where is she now? In another place with another man. Jorah the Andal. Are you here to see our queen? She's in a good mood. Jorah Mormont's a slaver, not a traitor. Small difference, I know, to an honorable man. He broke the law, betrayed his family, fled our land. We commit murder on the word of this man. You don't approve? It's not a question of approval, it's a question of trust. You neither approve nor trust. Why would I? The man's a sellsword. Didn't you fight for the Golden Company before pledging your sword to my brother? I did. 
I trust you. Dario Naharis killed his captains and dumped their heads at your feet when he grew tired of their commands. How could you ever have faith in a man like that? I could never have faith in a man like Dario. That's why I've sent him and the second sons to retake Yunkai. You have? I have. Without you there to rule Khaleesi, I fear the masters will simply bide their time, wait for the invaders to leave, and reassert control. That is why I've ordered Dario to execute every master in Yunkai. The masters tear babies from their mother's arms. They mutilate little boys by the thousands. They train little girls in the art of pleasuring old men. They treat men like beasts. As you said yourself. Herding the masters into pens and slaughtering them by the thousands is also treating men like beasts. The slaves you freed, brutality is all they've ever known. If you want them to know something else, you'll have to show it to them. And repay the slavers with what? Kindness? A fine? A stern warning? It's tempting to see your enemies as evil, all of them. But there's good and evil on both sides in every war ever fought. Let the priests argue over good and evil. Slavery is real. I can end it, I will end it, and I will end those behind it. I sold men into slavery, Khaleesi. And now, you are helping me show them to freedom. I wouldn't be here to help you if Ned Stark had done to me what you want to do to the masters of Yunkai. Do nothing. That's your wise advice. Do nothing till our enemies are on our shores. You're my counsel, counsel! Speak sense to this honorable fool. I understand your misgivings, my lord. Truly, I do. It is a terrible thing we must consider, a vile thing. Yet we who presume to rule must sometimes do vile things for the good of the realm. Should the gods grant Daenerys a son, the realm will bleed. I bear this girl no ill will, but should the Dothraki invade, how many innocents will die? How, how many towns will burn? Is it not wiser, kinder even, that she should die now, so that tens of thousands might live? We should have had them both killed years ago. When you find yourself in bed with an ugly woman, best close your eyes, get it over with. Cut her throat. Be done with it. They can live in my new world, or they can die in their old one. I followed you into war. Twice. Without doubts. Without second thoughts. But I will not follow you now. The Robert I grew up with didn't tremble at the shadow of an unborn child. She dies. I will have no part in it. Nor the king's hand, Lord Stark. You will do as I command, or I'll find me a hand who will. And good luck to him. I thought you were a better man. Out. Out. Damn you, I've done with you. Go run back to Winterfell! I'll have your head on a spike! I'll pull it there myself, you fool! You think you're too good for this? Too proud and honorable? You will go to King's Landing. And do what? Rule. You will serve as Hand of the King in my stead. You'll bring that boy king to heel and his mother too, if needs be. And if you get so much as a whiff of treason from any of the rest, Baelish, Varys, Pycelle... Head spikes walls. Why not anyone? Why me? You're my son. Dark boy appears to be less green than we'd hoped. I've heard his wolf killed a dozen men and as many horses. Is it true about Stannis and Renly? Both Baratheon brothers have taken up against us. Jaime captured, his army scattered. It's a catastrophe. Perhaps we should sue for peace. 
There's your piece. Joffrey saw to that when he decided to remove Ned Stark's head. You'll have an easier time drinking from that cup than you will bringing Rob Stark to the table now. He's winning, in case you hadn't noticed. I'm told we still have his sisters. The first order of business is ransoming Sir Jamie. No truces. We can't afford to look weak. We should march on them at once. First, we must return to Casterly Rock to raise They more. have my son! Get out, all of you. What are you doing here? This is the small council. Yes, well, I do believe the hand of the king is welcome at all small council meetings. Our father is hand of the king. Yes, but in his absence. But now, madness, madness and stupidity. I always thought you were a stunted fool. Perhaps I was wrong. Half wrong. I'm new to strategy, but unless we want to be surrounded by three armies, it appears we can't stay here. Your father has named Lord Tyrion to serve as hand in his stead while he fights. Out! All of you, out! I would like to know how you tricked father into this. If I were capable of tricking father, I'd be emperor of the world by now. You brought this on yourself. I've done nothing. Quite right, you did nothing. When your son called for Ned Stark's head. Now the entire North has risen up against us. I tried to stop it. Did you? You failed. That bit of theater will haunt our family for a generation. Rob Stark is a child. Who's won every battle he's fought? Do you understand we're losing the war? What do you know about warfare? Nothing. I know people, and I know that our enemies hate each other almost as much as they hate us. Joffrey is king. Joffrey is king. You are here to advise I'm him. Only here to advise him. And if the king listens to what I say, the king might just get his uncle Jamie back. How? You love your children. It's your one redeeming quality, that and your cheekbones. Starks love their children as well. And we have two of them. One. One? Arya, little animal, she disappeared. Disappeared? What? In a puff of smoke? We had three Starks to trade. You chopped one's head off and let another escape. Father would be furious. Must be odd for you. To be the disappointing child. Kyburn. My lord. You're a rational man. Oh, so I flatter myself, my lord. We have a chance here. Perhaps our last chance to avoid carnage. Yes. Help me. I don't want to see the city burn. I don't want to hear the screams of children burning alive. No, it is not a pleasant sound. I... I don't want to hear it. Help me save this city. My lord, I am only a mouthpiece for our queen. Your queen? Cersei is queen of the Seven Kingdoms. You are her subject. Her reign is over. You understand this. Help her understand it. We understand nothing of the sort. Your queen's last dragon is vulnerable. Powerful. But not invincible. Apparently, one of Daenerys' dragons was wounded by spears in the fighting pits of Myrie. They can be wounded, they can be killed. The finest artillers and blacksmiths in King's Landing have been laboring day and night, Your Grace.
Your armies are battle-weary and depleted, while ours have been reinforced with the Golden Company. Doesn't matter. Your love doesn't matter, your feelings don't matter. I don't care why you did what you did. I only care what it cost us. It cost us our future. If there's no future, then why are we here? Why did you allow me to come? Not to help my enemies collaborate in my destruction. Yes, no, not what you hoped for, but you must have hoped for something. What did you hope for? To make Jon Snow submit to your queen. You'll want to discuss this amongst yourselves. You Perhaps. will stay. All my allies are gone. They've been taken from me while I've been sitting here on this island. You still have the largest army. Who won't be able to eat because Cersei has taken all the food from the Reach? Call Grey Worm and the Unsullied Battle. We still have enough ships to carry the Dothraki to the mainland. Commit to the blockade of King's Landing. We have a plan. It's still the right plan. The right plan! Your strategy has lost us Dawn, the Iron Islands, and the Reach. If I have underestimated our enemies... Our enemies? Your family, you mean. Perhaps you don't want to hurt them after all. Enough with the clever plans. I have three large dragons. I'm going to fly them to the Red Keep. We've discussed this. My enemies are in the Red Keep. What kind of a queen am I if I'm not willing to risk my life to fight them? A smart one. What do you think I should do? I would never presume I'm at war. To... I'm losing. What do you think I should do? I never thought that dragons would exist again. No one did. The people who follow you know that you made something impossible happen. Maybe that helps them believe that you can make other impossible things happen. Build a world that's different from the shit one they've always known. But if you use them to melt castles and burn cities, you're not different. You're just more of the same. But eventually you want everyone to bend the knee to her. Yes. Why? Because I think she will make the world a better place. You said she'd destroy King's Landing. She knows herself. She chose an advisor who would check her worst impulses instead of feeding them. That's the difference between you. I don't care about checking my worst impulses. I don't care about making the world a better place. Hang the world. That thing you dragged here. I know what it is. I know what it means. And when it came at me, I didn't think about the world. Not at all. As soon as it opened its mouth, the world disappeared for me. Right down its black throat. All I could think about was keeping those gnashing teeth away from the ones who matter most. Away from my family. Maybe your own Grey Joy had the right idea. Get on a boat. Take those who matter. You're pregnant. I have had nothing to do but think these past few weeks about our bloody history. You're pregnant. About the mistakes we've made. Bend the knee, my lord. Bend the knee and swear loyalty to my son and we shall allow you to live out your days in the grey waste you call home. Your son has no claim to the throne. <laughs> Liar! What unites people? Armies? Which is the bigger number? Five or one? Five. Five. One. One army, a real army, united behind one leader with one purpose. Gold? We can't beat the Dothraki. We don't have the numbers. We don't have the support of the other houses. No, we have something better. We have the Iron Bank. You should have listened more when Father spoke about the importance of gold. Flags? Flags? 
But you could help another climb those steps and take that seat. The Seven Kingdoms need someone stronger than Tommen, but gentler than Stannis. A monarch who can intimidate the High Lords and inspire the people. A ruler loved by millions with a powerful army and the right family name. Good luck finding him. Stories. There's nothing in the world more powerful than a good story. What are you reading? The Dance of Dragons. What's it about? It's the story of the fight between Rhaenyra Targaryen and her half-brother Regan for control of the Seven Kingdoms. Both of them thought they belonged on the Iron Throne. When people started declaring for one of them or the other, their fight divided the kingdoms in two. Brothers fought brothers. Dragons fought dragons. By the time it was over, thousands were dead. And it was a disaster for the Targaryens as well. They never truly recovered. Dance of dragons. Why is that a dance? It's just what they call it. Doesn't make much sense. I think it's poetic. If you'd had to choose between Rhaenyra and Aegon, who would you have chosen? I wouldn't have chosen either. It's all the choosing sides that made everything so horrible. Sometimes a person has to choose. Sometimes the world forces his hand. Nothing can stop it. No enemy can defeat it. And who has a better story than Bran the Broken? He is our memory, the keeper of all our stories. There are lots of stories about this play. Father, Smith, Smith. warrior. Mother, Mother the wars, weddings, Christ. births, Sweet. massacres, famines, our triumphs, so a day. our defeats, our past. Who better to lead us into the future? Bran has no interest in ruling, and he can't father children. Good. Sons of kings can be cruel and stupid, as you well know. His will never torment us. That is the wheel our queen wanted to break. Torgon Nudo. Hinran gave his hosno and no magic rupa. Nadiro mentiro hetricas a barge carajeitsa. Avitolvio a nurho gento si brozan. Dario Valerio Valeriat. Esso i dreptot daor. In dari vali sirisi, sin dari vali pontalo sit gamuti i drepti. Gente jeve gerele i drebletas, co grondo jevo hedre. Drepti. Bezi es agiligli. Scrosso jevi brosa. Torco nudo. Torgonudo. All unsullied boys are given new names when they are cut. Grey Worm, Red Flea, Black Rat. Names that remind them what they are. Vermin. Hezer Broza, Jeve Gemele Drebletas. Menteri Evanie, Evesteletas, Keskido Sogamagon. Gadbag Aohe Gregogas. Avi Hoskas Lue Broze Evesteletas. Munya ao teptas lue brozi i a milie tolie. Torconudo ho caspesi. Same brozi beri. Si brozi es bezo senestas kimbroto. Quini ile si brozi melezesco mazedas terari vabustar. I torconudo sagi brozi. 
Esbezie Jitovi, Deneris Jelmazmo, Jiteptas Jiderve. Someone would have laughed. He's a good man, a great warrior. And a terrible king. I've run away my years fighting for terrible kings. He swore an oath? Yes. The man of honor keeps his vows. Even if he's serving a drunk or a lunatic. Because once in my life before it's over, I want to know what it's like to serve with pride. To fight for someone I believe in. You believe in her? With all my heart. Jeva Henioti no hoti na sintas. Se has posaruti ubridas. Sir, daremi rose istat. In va batolvi o viho beoldi da rande. In veni basma tetos da or. In va batolvi o viho ni nondi da derat. Tolvrio prejelat. Hen winter vel va dornot. Hen laneso va leniot. Hen jairo geerot. Avar, valar, rinjar, tole grego va botis. Grevi in noma prejelat. From now on, rulers will not be born. They will be chosen. On this spot are the lords and ladies of Westeros to serve the realm. Lord Tyrion, you will be my hand. No, your grace, I don't want it. And I don't want to be king. I don't deserve it. I. I thought I was wise, but I wasn't. I thought I knew what was right, but I didn't. Choose Sir Davos. Choose anyone else. I choose you. You cannot. Yes, I can. I'm king. This man is a criminal. He deserves justice. He just got it. He's made many terrible mistakes. He's going to spend the rest of his life fixing them. <laughs> <laughs> 